Hi guys, I'm Trufman from Overclocking TV. We're here at the HWBot anniversary event and I'm here now with Eight Pack from UK. Hey man, how are you doing? Yeah, great, thanks Trufman. Um, we have been doing here the like a bench party, an overclocking gathering from HWBot. What do you think about these kind of events? Yeah, it's a great event for uh, newcomers to get a grasp of uh, overclocking with liquid nitrogen and for the professionals to really try hard to push the boundaries and take some records live with everyone watching so we can uh, promote the equipment that we're using and promote our skills and overclocking as, a, as an e-sport. So you actually broke one of the world records today, like one of the most difficult ones to get, the Firestrike Extreme uh, world record on the 780 Ti quad SLI system. Um, you were spending four days on that system, so what is the story behind this, this world record and why did you want it so hard to have this one? Well, the Firestrike Extreme uh, full outs, the first benchmark on the Pro Cup this this uh, quarter, uh, the Pro Cup's the most important uh, tournament, if you like, on HW Bot, and and that score is possibly the most difficult to do. You've got to be able to run the X79 platform full out with four DIMMs all tuned in, four memory sticks all tuned in, and then four cards all at the same time, which you've tested individually and in quad, all running. Uh, all running very high frequency and very efficiently on a Windows 8 operating system, which is one that we don't often use. So again, that needs to be tuned according to, to, to effectively manage the score and get up as high as possible. You, you did mention the Pro OC Cup, the Pro OC League. Um, so basically, that's a part of the, that's multiple teams fighting against each other as a professional level. Uh, what do you think about uh, your professional career? What is your, your backstory about like, getting more professional and what are you trying to push nowadays? Well, our uh, team pro is um, OC UK, Pro OC UK, Overclockers UK is uh, the company that I work for in the UK, and there I, um, I, I have my own range of very high-end systems, uh, the top systems using like three or four NVIDIA GPUs, uh, down to uh, the lower-end system that's even like 2780 Ti's. The price range of the, those systems like 5 and 10k, and they push the boundaries from what you can expect from water cooling. The Pro AC Cup is just actually an extension of that, and it's just me pushing the boundaries of what you can expect from LN2 cooling. And both both types of um, different cooling, you bin the hardware and so on and so on and get the absolute most you can out of it. So that's the background really. I'm working for a professional company, producing professional systems, not just in the UK, but also across, across Europe. Case King are, are doing these systems in Germany. Uh, we've shipped to countries like Finland, Denmark uh, and, and all across Europe. So you are working for your job basically now? Yes, of course, I'm overclocking, um, essentially, yes, for my job completely. Uh, I also work uh, overclocking systems for companies who trade stocks and shares uh, in London and actually at stock markets all around the world where they want absolute efficiency of what's called the tick to trade. So as soon as the information comes in off the stock exchange, the faster they can turn around the information in the computer, decide to sell or buy shares accordingly, makes them lots of money or lose them lots of money. That's why I tune their systems to make them very efficient high CPU clocks, high memory speeds, special cards in the PCI Express slots, special cooling even and so on and so on. And that's even on a server, you know. So it helps them to gain money on the stock exchange. That's another good use for overclocking. I also work for a couple of companies who, who uh, need their accounts doing really quick, quite famous companies who support uh, high levels of sport in the UK. I uh, help them to do their accounts faster by overclocking their systems. I see. Um, so right now that you're pro overclocking, you're competing on the HWB bots. Uh, what did HWB bot change in the last 10 years? Because HWB did 10 years now. What did that change in the last 10 years for you? Well, for me, uh, I've, I mean, I've been overclocking for quite a long period of time, but not really been on HW bot that long, maybe two, two and a half years. The structure certainly changed since I started with uh, the foot where the focus was more individuals overclocking. Now, it, now it's more a team-based sport, if you like, in the top league, uh, which means that the, the standard is higher because you've got more people uh, working together to submit really good scores like you saw at the event here today there was myself and um, Young Pro and other team 8AU guys all working together binning cards, testing hardware modding hardware, testing again testing again, so it, that, that 
uh, that of course when you've got a group of very talented overclockers together rather than just one person all the ideas are thrown in you come up with higher scores I mean I think the score that we've done today is like a thousand points above what's on hardware but and in such a hard bench like the Friday strike extreme that's a very very high hard score to do and would be almost impossible on your own even when I'm overclocking for OC UK Pro the, there's a couple of us or two or three of us working together to get the best scores I see. And uh, you, you were talking about this event, but there was a lot of events going on at the Computex although at, the, at the same time. So what was the biggest highlight of the Computex event this year in 2014? In 2014 yeah. Well, for me, I, would, I was competing hard in the G-Skill event. For me, that was, of course, the most difficult event because of the schedule and the benchmarks and the limited time that you had to make scores. Also, the competition that you were competing against in the G-Skill event, it was a very hard-fought online qualifier for a start and then once you get there once once we were here it's again people from the best pro overclocking teams the best people in the world up against in the in in the most difficult format other competitions were were of course good competitions too high standard but but the people had time to produce the benchmarks other people were involved and could help them it, here in the g-skill event you were on your own uh, you only had an hour to produce each score and if you didn't You, you were you were certain to fall down the table because you were against great people. And you were on the trade show. That was like a, not an easy and quiet place to do that either. No, very difficult to concentrate. Obviously, people uh, who who were interested coming up and asking questions when you're trying to concentrate in the trade show. Uh, the atmosphere is very humid and muggy. So as soon as you pour liquid nitrogen, the the rigs the rigs uh, immediately creating moisture, creating water. Obviously, if you haven't insulated and got everything correct first time, if you do have to warm up any component, that that ice and moisture melts and fills up the ram slots gets into cpu into vrms causes you even more issues so it was a case of being very precise at that event and the way that you went about everything that you did um in the in the past few weeks a month uh, i saw you were broadcasting some of your benchmarking session uh, what do you think is the extremely mandatory for people to watch and not get bored about watching overclocking well for for me uh What helped our sessions was that we had another team team member uh, talking on the live stream, commentating on kind of what we were doing, answering questions related to the hardware we're overclocking, voltages used, and so on and so on. Uh, a, a chat room type situation, and then. Um, You know, at some stages we were playing music that people had requested. Uh, we were having adver advertisements as well that were uh, appropriate to the audience. Obviously, an extreme overclocker. We're having advertisements to promote uh, the products that we were selling, that we were using at the time, so where people could buy them, and where, and also for, uh, our forum where people could learn more about what do, what we were doing, and so on and so on. So it was an entire package. We're doing the scores. We had someone commentating. We had where you can buy and where you can learn more about it all in one go that's actually it's a, it's a complete like experience complete package yeah of course uh, and we're promoting the manufacturers who bought into the package too and uh, obviously it g generates sales if people can see that the hardware you're using is very good and it it um, can stand up to extreme overclocking then of course it's, they know it's going to be very durable in their everyday systems and be very suited to their gaming rigs which is the majority of our audience, of course. Um, well, thank you for your time. Uh, no congratulations problem. again on breaking the Firestrike Extreme World Record here at this event. Uh, we hope to see you at uh, one of the next competitions that will be happening this year. Yeah, and thanks to OCU TV for, um, OCTV for putting on such a good event with HWBot. The coverage was great. And I hope, uh, I hope everyone saw us smash the world record. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. Thanks.